Alright guys, I'm showing you a tutorial video on how to install a ROM on your uh, Verizon Galaxy S3. Um, to start with, you want to pick what ROM you want. And to do that, currently I use the XDA developers. Now make sure you're in the Verizon Galaxy S3 Android development area when looking for your ROM, as if you're anywhere else you could encounter problems, especially if the ROM isn't made for a more specific model of phone. Uh, and after looking around a bit, I decided I wanted to give out AOKP a shot, which is the Android Open Kang project. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to install this one specifically. However, most of the um, you know steps are similar, uh, regardless of what ROM it is. Uh, currently, for the Verizon phone, depending on what recovery image you have flashed on your phone, that's going to determine what types of ROMs you can install. And if you've been following my videos, you remember in my routing and custom recovery installation guide, there was that section where we went to the command line and typed out what to do. And uh, that was the pushing the recovery.img file. And now somebody created a GUI app, which does the same thing and makes all our lives a lot simpler. So this is what I'm using now. It's Easy Recovery for BZW Galaxy S3. It's right on the Google Play Store. Go ahead and download it. Rate it five stars. It's a great little app, and it makes uh, doing this type of stuff a lot easier. So, once you've downloaded that, and you're going to go to the AOKP website here, and you're going to download the AOKP, uh, AOKP ROM, and then the Google Apps. The Google Apps aren't incorporated into the ROM uh, automatically as it's better to have them separate so you can update the Google app separately. You don't have to release the ROM thing. There might be some copyright issues going on. I don't know. They just don't do it. So, once you've got those downloaded, you want to put them onto your SD card. So here are the files. Just drag, bam, drop them right on the SD card. Uh, it's already done, as you can see. So, once that step is completed, uh, you're going to want to open up the Easy Verizon app which I just so happen to have downloaded already and installed. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty simple program, but it's very powerful and I like it a lot. Basically in the bottom left hand corner we have these options here about what kind of cover you want. In the AOKP instructions it specifies CWM Touch as you can see right here. If I can switch my screen. Use the CWM Touch image. Okay. So, here we go, select CWM Touch, and click Flash. It's going to ask for super user privileges, allow. In the bottom, it'll give us a flashing complete confirmation, and then we're going to click Reboot Recovery. Another confirmation, yes. Mm -hmm. Phone's going to reboot, and it's going to boot into the um, CWM Touch image recovery that we just flashed. Let me give this a moment. See the splash screen. And here we are. This is our new recovery. And now we're going to install the ROM. Our first step is to delete everything that was previously on the phone. And to do that, we're going to use the wipe data factory reset option. It's the third one down, so we click that. Yes, delete all user data. It's going to delete everything that was on the phone and then give us a fresh area to install our stuff to. We're going to do it one more time just to be safe. Perfect. Now we're going to wipe the cache. Yes, wipe the cache. One more time. Hit cache. Okay, so now our phone is completely uh, clear and ready to install a custom ROM. So to do that, we're going to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And then this will be your SD card mounted here, and then you just select zip, and in our case it's AOKP D2VZW milestone 6 zip. Yes, install that. Alright, now the phone is uh, installing the specific ROM by re uh, flashing the apps into the system directory and all sorts of other fun stuff. So this may take a moment. And we're finished. Perfect. And now we're going to flash the Google Apps. So we're going to go to Google Apps ICS 20120429 signed.zip. And we're going to 
flash that. I'm mounting the final system currently. Perfect, we're done. Our ROM is installed. Now all we have to do is boot to it. So we're going to go back and go to reboot system now. And we're going to reboot. There's our boot image. People usually add a custom uh, uh, boot animation. We'll see what the AOKP guys have done. And this double boot thing is uh, is fine. It's uh, it's just part of the Kexec software which we've installed. So don't freak out if this happens to you. It's just the hijack running. And there is our new boot animation. It's not nearly as colorful as the previous one. Well, the unicorn looks pretty cool, I guess. Looks like somebody you'd find in a back alley of a gay biker bar or something. Not quite sure. And the first boot always can take a while, but I'll let you watch it. Well, I suppose this would be a good time to tell you that uh, all the um, links to the specific stuff you need, like the uh, Easy Verizon application, uh, the AOKP website, the XDA developers website and my blog where the uh, instructions are written down for you are all in the description. And here we are. Welcome. Here's our new ROM and uh, I'm pretty excited to tear it into this and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching.